film on and let you watch this piece of tape without any commentary from me at all. The quality of the film is not great because I've shown it to a lot of people nationwide. So I apologize to you for the quality of this videotape, but I think if you concentrate, you'll definitely get the picture and you'll be able to see it anyway, even though the quality of the film will not be as good as we would like it to be right now. Thank you very much for watching it. Of course, don't want this on the market. It's just a wooden frame. It's got an auto switch on it right here, an automobile switch, which... I'm going to get closer. Okay, turns it off and on. I put a cover over it, a jar, to protect it. Now, it's compressed. The material in this is made of... One rod is made of 73 different elements. The other side is made of 74 elements. There's one additional element, and that's why one is negative and one is positive. The one builds up the electrons. The neutrinos that strike the Earth 24 hours a day and other things striking the Earth, the combination of them causes electrons to build up in one of these rods, and it depletes them in the other side, much like a solar panel works very much like a solar panel. But a solar panel needs light 24 hours a day if you're going to use it 24 hours. Otherwise, it only works when the sun comes out. Now, this here, as you can see, very, very light. Very light. Mm -hmm. Has practically no weight to it. But there's, there's plenty of energy there. Now, as I run this up the rock, you can see. Let me get a little closer there. Okay. These are Christmas tree lights. 110 volt Christmas tree lights. Let me lights. get a good close up of those lights. Let's see those lights again. Okay. All they are is what? The Just regular Christmas tree lights. So hold it out of your hand so I can see it a little bit better. The, okay. the light bulbs. I want to see light bulbs. Okay. Without them being lit. Oh, without them being lit. Yeah. Okay. Just hold them there for a second. Yeah. And all they are is grouped together in a little tape hold in the end zone, right? Yeah, they're just grouped together here. There's three yeah. of them together. Okay, so now what you're doing for is the just... the purposes of something bright so people can see. So you're putting one wire on one rod and one on the other. Is one that on correct? the other. Okay. Just like negative and positive. Now turn the rod sideways so we can see them individually. Okay. There we go. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, it's not a battery because you cannot light these with a battery. Now, okay. and to show it's not a battery, anywhere you move it up and down the rod, lights work. See? See, anywhere, down here, uh -huh. all the way up. The same. Anywhere you want to, to put them, they work. Now, there's no power buildup here. Now, to show, let's, let's take something a little bit bigger. This, this is a 25-watt ball. One, it's 110, 25 watts. Now, let's see what happens when we put that on. Hmm. Now, of course, it won't be as bright because it, uh, this takes a lot of amperage, you know, and the wattage. This here, the watts on this thing here is only about, uh, right now, about 18 watts only, and this is 25 watts. Now, does the rods get hot? Uh, no, the rods don't get hot. The light bulb is, is hot. Yeah, because it's... Uh, yeah, it, it gets hot. Of course, you can't see the, the heat there, but now you, I'll give you a good shot of the of the, uh, of the light here. Okay. Yeah, got it. Now you need a very big battery to do that. If you want to do that with a battery, uh -huh. you know that's to show there's no power here as far as uh, storage power. It stores a certain amount of electrons because it builds up. Mm -hmm. Now. Let's cover them. We're going to cover them up. So now no, no, no light can get to them. So we can show they're not like a solar panel. Now let's turn the switch on. So the power is now going from the bottom terminal through the switch here to the top here. Right, okay. Now we use these two terminals on here because sometimes at the cave site we used to use this to charge the big battery. Uh -huh. See? So that's why we put those terminals on there. Now let's black it out. See if we can still light it. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? You don't need light. So we're not getting it from the fluorescent lights here. We're not getting the power from the fluorescent lights. Right.
All right, America's Declaration of Energy Independence. You're the jury, you're the judge. I don't care what the oil companies say. I don't care what the electric companies say. I don't care what anybody but you says. <laughs> this is a decision for you to make. Do you want it? Do you believe it? Has anybody ever given more evidence of their ability to perform this miracle and to revolutionize the energy production in the United States of America? Has anyone ever done more? Has anyone ever shown more? Have we had anyone else who went on a tour across the United States three times? And in all three tours showed something to the scientific community that's never been shown before. Ran full page ads in major publications inviting all scientists to come, bring their instruments, and test those claims for themselves. And successfully did every single demonstration exactly as promoted and exactly as planned, and not one single individual anywhere came to those presentations, though they all had the opportunity to test it and tested it and found it to be anything other than what we claim. Has anyone else ever done that? Has anyone else uh, been willing to show you a technology and let you test the technology? Well, sure, we get people who make claims. Will they let you test the technology? So you see, where are the scientists? Where were they? Where were the critics when we went on our tour? There's only one critic in this country that has an excuse. And that is that he is so obnoxious and he is so obvious in his, um, in his uh, quest, a man with a mission, to discredit me, that he has proven to me beyond any doubt he has no objectivity at all. And yes, that man can say he's been denied access to the very meetings. But he's the only one. No one else has ever been denied access other than the media. Because I don't do what I do for the media. I don't do what I do for the officials. I do what I do for you. You're who I'm interested in. I don't care what the scientists say. They're welcome to come. They're welcome to test. And then they're welcome to sit down and shut up. Because I'm not performing for scientists. I want a test from the mass, public awareness, the people in this country. I believe you are the one that is being denied technologies that can improve your life. And I believe that you are the one that can determine whether or not you should have an opportunity to let me prove to you with live demonstrations that I really can or cannot make this happen. Now I've proven all the components. I've proven the motor on a national tour, 28,000 mile tour, 47 public demonstrations, Every man in the world had the chance, equal opportunity, to come to any of those 47 presentations and measure it for himself. I've done a show for the Congress of the United States to implore them to work with me to deregulate the electric utilities, to give independent power producers like myself equal access to the grid, and the opportunity to work with the grid system, even though I don't need the grid system, as I've also proven. One, we're not here to tear anything down. We're not here to destroy anybody's opportunities. We're here to uplift, build up, make the world a better place. That's why we're called Better World Technologies. We're here to give the world the opportunity, the wonderful technologies that it had from its very inceptions of the production of electricity. We're here to right or wrong. It should have been the international Tesla electric company from the beginning until now. But we went with Edison because we wanted everybody to be on the end of a line and have them pay through their nose for electricity on a continuous basis while all along every one of us could have had free energy. 
Now, I don't know. Maybe you think there's something wrong with that. I certainly do. Maybe you don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay. I'm not here to eliminate your bill. I don't have any problem with people paying bills. I have no problem with you paying for your electricity. But I am here to stop all the fossil fuel pollution in this country. I am here to stop the negative effect on our environment trying to get energy. I am here to right a wrong. Now, either you think that I should have a right to go out and present my case, or you think I shouldn't. Either you think I should have the opportunity to do what the Wright brothers did and fly my airplane in public to end all of the ideas and all of the misconceptions about whether or not I could do that. I've never put the two technologies together. I never have. I have the one, it's proven. I have the other, it's proven. And common sense would tell you the two together could do what I claim. I believe it. Do you believe it? See, a case is presented in a court of law. And then the jury decides. That's what I've tried to do here. Give you the evidence. I've presented my evidence. Maybe someone can present their evidence. But by the way, anybody who says you can't make free electricity already lost his case. You can't say what can't be done. You can discuss what has been done, but you cannot say this or that cannot be done unless you're God. Because it would take God who knows all things to determine what could and couldn't be done. But we've already heard from God. If you believe in him, God has said in his word, all things are possible. All things are possible. God has not said in his Bible, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Because certainly salvation wouldn't qualify. Because that certainly sounds too good to be true. But I know it is true. So you decide. I've laid my evidence in front of you. Should I have an opportunity to have my witnesses all assembled across this country, should each independent republic of the 50 republics called the United States of America, should each of those republics have the right to decide as separate entities? have the right to decide the issue for their citizens. I think so. And I want to do two public demonstrations, but I want to have massive distribution because the most shocking thing of all, this has already been proven in the United States of America in a court of law. And people use that case to try to claim that I'm a bad guy. When actually the fact of the matter is, I won that case. All the criminal charges were dismissed against me when I proved in a court of law that I indeed could make free electricity, and I did that in before 1990, in the late 80s. So look at all the time you and I have missed on getting on with life and doing what we're looking at doing. And if you really think that it isn't important for us to have public awareness, maybe you could explain to me what happened in Ventura, California. So this is my case. And you're the jury. You decide. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm here. I will always be here. I am coming to the end of this. And when I get my witnesses, I will bring whatever I've got forward. And then we'll know. Help me, please.